stomping in, Jen. Um, so that was that was a scope that I did about a week ago about tips and success stories that I want to start to discuss going forward with other small business owners. We are a mom and pop shop, small business owner, and Periscope obviously is fun to connect with worldwide people. In, you know, international, national, making a lot of great connections with people all over the place. Oh, you're a CPA. Nice. Um, okay. So this, this, uh, you know, you deal with clients in a local footprint as a CPA. Are you in, are you independent or do you work for a big company? Um, because I think that Periscope is going to get to the point and it's not quite there yet, even though it's growing. Hi, Annie. Okay. Where independent. Okay, good. So you're looking. So for those of us who are independent and local, hey, we're looking for ways to directly benefit from Periscope for our local business. As In addition to making these great connections and being entertained and, and being educated by all these great people we meet in, nationally and internationally, right? So I think as Periscope becomes more and more pervasive and more and more people are using it, you'll start to find your local backyard and your footprint where you do business starting to fill in with people that are on Periscope that you can reach directly and that you can parlay into clients and to impact your business on a local level, right? Hey, Carrie. So that's kind of the goal, I think, for some of us small business owners who are here. And I wanted to share uh, an idea and a very good tip, I think. Hi, Ellie. Hey, Carrie. Um, that I think um, that I think local businesses can use. And I think what I'm talking about here is it's an interactive app. Yes. And so, if you do any, you know, whatever your service is or whatever your product is for your local clients. Hey, Elise. Thanks for joining. Um, I think anything that you do create great for creating business opportunities. Yeah, because if you build relationships with your clients locally, whatever it is that you do for them, hi Elizabeth, um, you should scope about it. You should scope about it, and you should work this from a from from a from an, an approach where if your local people don't know about Periscope yet. Use Periscope to help them connect to their people, to their out-of-town relatives, to their family, and do it in a way where it kind of comes back to what you're doing for them, whatever service or product it is you're making for them. So just, I'm going to throw out some examples, and this may or may not apply to you directly. Right, Julia? Thanks. Um, like, for example, if you are a dressmaker, and you're making a custom wedding dress or prom dress for somebody. You can do private casts or, you know, you can do broadcasts about making that product. And then people who might live out of town can watch you. It, they, part of the process of making it can be something special for somebody and for people to connect with and rally around with family who are out of town. If you're a baker and you make custom birthday or anniversary cakes... Show the process. Show yourself putting the icing on the cake. Show yourself crafting a cake that is in the shape of a certain item. You know, for Allie's 40th birthday a few years ago, we did a, uh, we had a cake made in the shape of a Canon 5D, the camera that she shoots. Would have been very cool to have to, you know, to see the company making and baking that cake. Um, if you're a monogrammer, if you're making something that is personalized where you're stitching someone's name or painting someone's name on the product, scope about it. And then your client can see you making it and their family members can see them making it. You know, I was just watching, um, I was watching an episode, you two tapes too long, edit, cut, eh. You know what, actually it's not that bad. Well, it, if you had, that's kind of another, you know what, if you can um, download your scope and then upload it to YouTube and kind of have it running in the background, and there are services actually that are not doing that for you, like Robert C. Stern for a monthly fee will, hey, see Adi, um, will download your scopes and send them to you with the comments and the hearts preserved, and then you can just upload them to YouTube, you know, while you're doing something else. Um, and, and, and I think repurposing of all of these things that we're talking about is very important too, so that they have a home, uh, so that they have a home beyond the 24 hours that they stay up on replay here within the app. Um, but like I was watching an episode last night of American Restoration, and I know Kelly Dale is on, uh, is on Periscope, 
Yeah, I agree, but it depends on what kind of content you're putting out. Absolutely. I mean, this is not this is not 100% slam dunk for every type of business and or every type of scope within that business. But I'm going to give you an example of how we used it, um, you know, with what I'm talking about here for different services and products. We did this with a couple of our clients, and I'm going to tell you how in a minute. Um, because I think, like what I was saying, American Restoration, I was watching an episode of that last night and I thought it was really cool, like they're starting to scope about some of these restoration product, uh, projects that they take on and some of them are really personal and important to people. Somebody brings in, um, you know, an old slot machine or, or, or something that they want restored that's, that means a lot to them. Um, you know, they could scope about the process and how they're making it and keep people connected. Love that show, right? It is a cool show, right? I'm a pretty cool guy. Thanks, Tech. I don't know who you are, but thank you for saying that, and thank you for stopping by. Um, and so I think this is a way, so, so think about this. You're connecting your clients in a very powerful and emotional way. Do you think Periscope is like your own reality show? Ab absolutely. <laughs> That's a funny question. It's, it's absolutely, because five years ago we were saying, when we really started rolling with our studio in this mall, we used to say, man, what goes on here at the studio and in this mall would make for a great reality show. And here we are five years later with Periscope, and now we have a reality show. Hey, Association Ari. Art, art, Association Art. Hi, Association Art. It's vlogging 2.0. Absolutely. Maylin. <laughs> I'm a marketing genius, man. Thank you for that compliment. I appreciate it. Hey, Maylan, what's up, bro? Hey, Patty Duke. Um, how's life? Life is great. So yeah, I think I think what you the fam is good. Fam is good. Tony's out with my parents, getting some sushi, watching a movie, going to a movie. Tell you what's good. So here's what's good, Maylan. What we've been talking about is a way to connect your for local small businesses, a way to connect your clients and your people to each other, to their family, and ultimately back to your brand by showing them Periscope for starters, because a lot of them still don't have it. You can show them Periscope, you can show them how it works, and if they can get their family members who might be out of state to download the app, then you can let their people from out of state see what's going on at your, at your business with your clients in a way that might be really special. If you're baking a special cake, if you're a bakery, if you're doing, if you're making a special dress, if you're a dressmaker, if you're a monogrammer, if you're a restoration artist like the American Restoration folks. Do you know any pro photographers in San Antonio, Texas? Do we know photographers in San Antonio for a family shoot? I think we might. Um, Malin's asking, Allie. So mark that down and let's see who our because Frankie's down in Texas, but she's not. We might know. We might know somebody down there. Do you think we can apply? Yeah, that's College Station. That's not San Antonio. Do you think we can apply this to a small car dealership in any way? I think so. Absolutely. I mean, listen, a, a new car is a really nice. You guys are awesome. Thanks, Malin. I think the experience of buying a new car is a very special experience, especially if you make it that way, if you take that approach with your clients. And, you know, hey, I think if like, a, I don't know, if a teenager gets their first car and their grandparents live 10 states away, hey, Catherine, it could be very special for you to do a periscope of the delivery of that car to a teenager, you know, to a 16, 17 year old who's got their license and their grandparents could watch it. It could be very special for them. So I think a dealership, there's lots of ways I think a dealership can use it. And that's my point. So here's how we did it. Okay. For our high school seniors, here's what we did. The last two high school seniors we photographed over the last week scope their inventory. Yeah. Well, sure. Absolutely. That too. You can scope your inventory. Yeah. I mean, you can scope behind the scenes. You can do a lot of things at a dealership. It's a good idea. Um, there is car dealer that scopes and takes questions about buying or selling cars. Absolutely. You could have a weekly, you could have a weekly show or, you know, you could have, um, yeah, I mean, you could have like customization shows, like options for people who are really into cars. Lots of stuff you could do and just be informative and valuable. Don't get on there and just try to sell cars per se, just demonstrate your expertise and educate people about cars and people will think of you when it's time to get one. Behind the scenes is great. Yeah. So, so, so what we did was we, we, wait, go back to the seniors. I had missed those scopes. Um, actually, so Elise, 
You should work as a marketing management for Periscope so Allie can enjoy daily spas, interview your employees, Aww. and have people fall in love with you in your community. Yes. Framble Faces has it right. Every day in the lounge, better than TV. Exactly. Tobacco Co., ta Tobacco Co. I think this is perfect for you guys. People can hang out in your lounge virtually. Hey, I'm your lawyer from, in, from Windsor. Thanks for joining. We're actually watching you at lunch at our dealership. Great ideas, by the way. No problem. I'm full of them. Um, so, Elise, one of the scopes that we just did of our senior on location, got to go, okay, thanks for stopping by, Malin. Um, we just posted it on our YouTube channel. So we just created a separate playlist for high school senior periscopes. And when we were on location, yeah, I'm your lawyer. We have to talk to you about that meetup for sure on August 8th. Sorry, didn't mean to sidetrack. No, no, it's cool. Louis Heron owns a few dealerships. Check them out. Oh, okay, there's one for you to go to school on. Hey, DB Bauzo. Bozo, Bozo, thanks for joining. Um, yeah, check it out on YouTube, Elise. I posted, so what we did was we did a little bit of a, a broadcast of a senior shoot the other day. Just maybe like 10 minutes where I talked about where we were shooting. So I got to see Allie set up a couple of shots, said hello to our senior, and a couple of local seniors who I have now told about Periscope downloaded the app. They chimed in, and they got to see her out on location taking her pictures. And her mom who was not on the session with us, got to watch her daughter taking her senior pictures. And on top of that, hi, Davina. On top of that, when they have family that are out of town, they have grandparents who are out of town, they can watch their grandkids 10 states away having their senior pictures done. It's a really powerful way to have your people connect with each other. Right, Elise? Make it about your clients. Show them Periscope and show them how cool it would be for them to connect with family in a unique way and have it be around the service and the product that you are providing for them. And that will spread your word of mouth in your local footprint. It will create buzz about Periscope. It will create buzz about your brand. And it will give people an experience beyond just the four walls of your brick and mortar mom and pop shop. That's really my tip for today for small biz. That's how we used it locally here. And I think being able to, yeah, awesome. Right, Elise? I think it's great. I think every, I think you are welcome. Thanks for coming. I think a lot of different types of businesses and services can take this approach somehow, depending on whatever it is they offer, you know, beyond just giving tips and expertise, I think you need to bring your clients into the picture and connect them with this app through your brand and you will create the strongest bonds with your clients and you'll bring something of value to their lives and it'll just make the whole experience that much more fun and rewarding for you for them i just think it's a killer i, I, I just think it's a killer way to use this this platform we have a family wedding out of state i hope someone will scope yeah and one that you're not going to Catherine. I'll do a scope today. Would love if you joined it, Doug. Annie, what time are you doing it? I've got a couple clients coming in uh, to the studio, so if it's in between, I can watch it live. If not, I can catch it on the replay. Out, somebody joined. I didn't. I didn't catch who Out it was. Out for a walk, LA. Out for a walk, LA. Thanks for joining. Yeah, Annie, I'd love to. In about two hours. What time is it right now? One. One. Uh, we got someone coming in at three fifteen. So maybe I'll catch. If you start before that Eastern time. I can catch a little of it. Hey, hey, out for a walk, L.A. Uh, any other comments, questions? Anybody using Periscope for their local business in other ways? I remember when you guys were just scoping, and now I've seen you guys fly into branding. Impressive, guys. Thanks. Well, at least that was always the plan. Can't go. Niece getting married. Okay, so there you go. That's perfect. Perfect. Somebody should be scoping. The photographer should have someone there with them. If they have a second shooter. Second shooter can't scope. This guy, second shooter needs to, to shoot. No, I know, but my point, what I was gonna say is, if there is a lull in the action where both shooters are not f right. photographing, right. like the entire time, backed myself out, I'm back. Cool. Um, if the second shooter has a minute to do a little scope, you know, you don't need two hours, you don't need the scope to be a two hour scope right. of the whole wedding, but just so you can see what's going on. If the second shooter isn't isn't shooting, at one point for 10 minutes, they should scope it. And that'd be a great way for that photographer to increase the value of what they're doing. So Catherine, you should reach out and find out, see who can scope it for you. 
Hey, Lee. Thanks for joining. But yeah, uh, I think that was Elise that was saying that. Yeah, you know, from the start, I actually started doing some branding and small business and social media scopes. I just didn't have a following for the first few. Um, but this is something that I've always blogged about, something that I've always consulted about with other local businesses here and there. I'm working on starting a side photography business. I may scope my progress. You should, Elise. You absolutely should. Hi, Kayla. Kayla Alvarez. How are things in Michigan today? They're good. Um, it's, it's actually, warm yeah, it's actually warmed up and the weather's nice today. We're not outside shooting, um, but things are good. Things are good up here. Anybody else, any, anyone else have any other ways that they've used this locally for their local footprint, for their business? Anybody going to take these ideas and run with them and report back? Because I think this is a chat that small businesses, photographers, stu photography studios, hey, hey, um, we can talk about this, you know, on a regular basis, um, you know, and bring it down to a local level because this is what we do every day in our brick and mortar shop. So I'm using these tools and social media stuff in my business, real life, real life stuff. Okay. Well, thanks for the support. Thanks for the hearts. This will be up on replay. No, this is my fifth day on Periscope. Would love to drive more local traffic this way. Uh, you know what? You can, I mean, just scope. Not just scope, but jump in and view people. Um, you know, when you're in a room like ours and you see the people who hop in, who we have relationships, who are clearly scoping, follow some of them. This is a good topic. I want to do a chapter about this in my book. Oh, Lee. Um, you know what, Lee? DM us. And we can talk about that a little bit if you want more. Um, I'd, I'd be happy to, you know, contribute more info for you. I'll watch this replay. Thanks. Yeah. And, and out for a walk, LA. You should also attend. You guys are hustling. Boom. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Much love, Elise. You too. Will do. Yes. Please do, Lee. Followed you. I'm a makeup artist, so work with lots of photographers. Great, Kayla. We'll follow you back. I'm going to follow you back right now. Me too. Uh, there it is. Boom. Hi, Kayla Alvarez. Hey, Dave. Dave's back. Dave's resetting. <laughs> Dave's our heart resetter. Dave, you're the man. Um, what was I just going to say? Dang it. You were talking about the, uh, the book? Um, someone's writing a book? No, that wasn't it. I mean, I, it was, but that wasn't it. Thanks, Doug. This is great. Thank you, Association Art. Oh, hi, Sid. Um, oh, there was one more point I feel like I wanted to Dang it. I hate when that happens. Local traffic. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, it was you out for a walk, LA. Thanks for the reminder. Yeah, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of scopes. Come on, Allie. Tap, tap, tap. Sorry. There's a lot of scopes out for a walk, LA. What what's your name out for a walk, LA? Ding ding. Um, there's a lot of scopes that are called, if you haven't seen any yet, promote your scope or blast your cast. Tamika. Hi, Tamika. Um if you go into some of these promote your scopes or blast your cast, Jason Stolkin is one that does them. Robert C. Stern is another that does them. And Minnie Jen is another. Um, anybody that knows them and wants to put them up, or Allie, if you want to put them up on the screen so I she can. Invite her to the next one. Yeah, we'll just, you know what? Yeah, we'll invite you out for a walk. Her. Um, I've been using scope to. Oh, shoot. I missed it. I missed it. To bringing people to the art gallery to people who something. Bringing people to the art gallery. Art gallery, very, anything visual, it gives you an advantage for Periscope because this is such a visual medium, obviously, um, that gives you an advantage. But um, Out for a Walk LA, you can go in there and people, it's, it's deliberately a scope that's designed for people to come in and put up in comments what it is that they scope about. Great, thanks everyone. Yeah, you can, you, and that way you can find out what certain people in the room scope about and follow them if you're interested. It's not meant to be just a follow for follow thing. Um, you know, you don't need to follow somebody back that's followed you if, if you know, you're not necessarily interested in their topic, but they followed you because they're interested in yours. It's, it's literally a, a time to promote your scopes and find out who is scoping about topics you're interested in. And that's a great way to grow your community if that helps. So thanks for the support. Thanks for the hearts, guys. Um, I think that's it for now. I think uh, I'm going to shut this down, but keep keep working on your local biz. I really should clean and eat. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to shut this down too. Thanks, Elise. Will do. People can ask me questions about art, and I show them paintings they're interested in. I think that's what you said before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's brilliant, and I think that will work for you. I mean, this is 
You guys so clearly care about going the extra mile for your clients, and it comes through on camera. Thank you, Tobacco Co. I mean, that's, listen, we love it. I mean, that's what makes it fun, and that what makes it, that's what makes it worthwhile to do what we do. Did you see the commercial photographer last night? No. Who was it? Who was it? I didn't see it. Yeah, thank you, Tobacco Co. We have a great tobacco. We have a great uh, cigar lounge actually, right across the street from us, called Churchill's. They have two locations here in Michigan. It's a cool place. Yeah. So okay. So let's uh, let's end this one for now. We've got some other topics that are coming. We'll continue to be scoping about other things. Um, but thanks for jumping in, everybody. Anybody have any follow-up questions? You can DM me if you want me to, um, you know, give you some feedback on something. I'd be happy to. And um, follow you on Twitter now. Yeah, you can follow us on Twitter. You can follow us pretty much everywhere. You can add us on Snapchat. You can follow us on Instagram, Vine. She was on Blast Your Talent. Oh, I didn't see the whole Blast Your Talent. I saw Amrit and I saw the uh, stencil. I saw Wick Fury. They were both fantastic. I did not see the photographer. So maybe I'll, I can still catch that on replay because it was last night. I don't know. We'll see if I have a chance to watch it. i got a lot of stuff going on the rest of the afternoon. So, um, But thanks for, um, thanks for bringing it to my attention. Okay, going to shut this down. Thanks, everybody, for joining in. Much appreciated. Have a great day, and we will see you all soon. Bye-bye.